Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Banished. So we have our new fangled um, town hall. It's got an overview, it's got new stuff to look at. Let's go ahead and look at them. So we're in year 15. We have just more information than, than what's down here. It's late spring, 24 homes, 24 families, 73 total citizens. So now we do have a total number that we can, we can locate if we really did want to make it 20% of total citizens or something, but... 73% um, of our population is educated and overall we're pretty healthy. I don't know why this has a scroll bar if there's nothing to scroll. Maybe it adds more information in the future. Um, we have our labors. We can modify them here just like we can over here. We can go to... Looks like we can cycle through the different locations that everything works at. Production! We've got the same limits that are here used and then you've got how much lo how many logs were used over the last one year how much was produced over the last year so you can kind of kind of see if there's a discrepancy um i guess that this is the what the first year and then oh you can actually go wow that's pretty neat 100 years how long do they expect you to play this game inventory items in storage items in homes can see what they have in their homes we can you know big brothers watching so storage homes and trading posts that makes sense okay graphs population over the last hundred years we're growing like crazy <laughs> graph oh my gosh you can look at all the things alcohol none <laughs> we're sad okay nomads there are no nomads requesting citizenship at this time Trade items. Acquired seeds and livestock. Sheep. Yes. Somebody needs to build this darn thing so they can go live there. Okay, well we need to, like... Maybe we should just go crazy with wood cutting. You know, it's actually probably not because we don't have logs. Or sorry, not because we don't have log, like, wood cutters. It's because we just never have any wood. So maybe we need to... Get more... Foresters. And continue to just designate more trees. More trees. I'm a little concerned about the graveyard. People are going to get pissy. They're going to get really upset. Can we do a new graveyard? Evidently you can only have one single Looks like I made that one 7x9. Um, you can only have a single town hall. Sorry about that, my train of thought gets distracted. Food food is low, logs are low. Food food is low twice. It's very low. <laughs> we need food! Alright, so the trader left, that's fine. We need more firewood so we can sell it. And we need to get that darn thing going so that we can get the wool so that we can make more fancy coats so we can sell them and wear them. Hunter is dead. Yet another body. God. It's amazing. I mean, we used to be able to keep up with um, like 20 or 30 people with just one woodcutter. And now... Too much going on, you know? Doing fine on iron. I actually have a good bit of stone for once. That's shocking. Get a few more laborers then so we can try to chop down trees and stuff. Let's 
still held up on logs. Okay, well, I, I think that that problem will fix itself, because now we have... Well, we had two more labor. Now we have one more labor. Kentony died. You just wait. Just wait. We're going to have hundreds of people running around. Soon. It's going to happen. They're all going to be inbred, uneducated. No, I'm just not sure. We're going to educate them. Wow, 17 students. We're going to need a new school soon. I'm telling you, that firewood disappears as quick as, as, quick as we make it. <laughs> Kill the deer! <laughs> it's, just, it's right there! I feel like they should they should at least kill the deer that are obviously where they shouldn't be, or the deer should run away when they are next to people. Unless it's a hunter who has stealth who won't scare the deer. You're still making tools, so you're doing fine. We're actually really low on tools. Which makes you think we need more coal. We've got iron. We actually have some logs right now, amazingly. So yes, we need, I think, another miner here to... to keep up coal production. <coughs> Apologize, excuse me. So we have eight laborers. That's actually good. That's like the first time I think we've ever had almost 20%. Hey, the pasture's done. Yay. Okay, let's go play with the pasture. All right, so pasture. Click. Sheepies. Yes, empty split. Food limit. So the sheep belong here. And we need to put a citizen here. So, yeah, I guess one of our laborers is going to have to come work this. Controls number of animals to keep in pasture. Exceeding this count will result in livestock being slaughtered for food. Okay, so... This pasture can hold 14 people. 14 sheepies. I think sheep would be better served um, not as a food source, but as the wool. Look at that. The sheep just like path. They just walked over here. They just, just walked straight through the water, straight through the fence. It's a very effective fence. And they just walked right in. How much food have you produced? <laughs> milk the sheep. You can drink sheep milk, right? What are you doing to the ground? What are you doing? That is not how you take care of sheep. It's like a generic animation for working the fields. That is apparently how you shear sheep, by digging on the ground. Have you made food yet? Damn. Oh. Merchant has arrived. Food is low. Logs is low. Food's not that, that low, actually. Well, I guess maybe it is. What you got? Pepper seeds for 2,500. Well, we have 200 firewood here. Could have sworn I turned the firewood down. But we have quite a bit again, so yeah, let's bring it up. And we have spare herbs as well. Are you willing to buy herbs from me? No. Only certain people will buy our herbs. And since no one seems to be willing to buy the venison, let's just bring it back into the trading post. No one wants the fish either. In fact, let's let's get the food just out. Because they don't ever seem to be willing to buy it, and that's fine. It makes sense that they wouldn't buy it. It's just... I was hopeful, you know? Yeah, we do want one of that. All right. Of course, with this many people, we should probably have more like three to five thousand food. Let's let's try to create a generic reference point for this as well. So let's try to have a hundred food per person. So we should have five thousand food. Maybe that's too much. 
Maybe you only need 50 food per person, but let's let's see if we can figure that out. We'll go by that for now. So these guys are, are working. Look at that, a little stockpile of stone, very nice. Choppy trees. These ones probably shouldn't be chopped down yet. Oh well. Our army of laborers is quick to respond for once. This is nice. I like it. Look at them go. Resources. Okay, do we have the logs here? 291 firewood. Firewood sold at a rate of 4 per. So to buy that outright with firewood, we would need like 625. Don't have quite that many. Um, really don't have much else of value to sell. We do have iron here, which again we don't. Let's keep the tools. Oh, he left. He left with the pepper seeds. We're never going to start farming. It's not going to happen. Maybe we try to keep between 50 and 100 food per person. I guess the range. So we're on the lower end of it. I want more. We need more logs. So those laborers were so quick to respond that I think that maybe we need to have them go work up here as well still. So let's remove trees. I want you to remove all these trees. And I want someone to build a road to extend up to there to help make them more effective. And with all this stone, maybe we do upgrade to stone roads. Still have a lot of people walking through here. This one's very frequently pathed, so this should probably be upgraded. Definitely upgraded. Look at all that traffic. Stone road it. Pick up some some speed there. All that extra stone that we have. Low on food though. Ten laborers is actually well, oh, eleven laborers is too much. So now we'll get uh, an extra fisherman. More fish. Wow, did they already finish that stone road? Holy crap, they are quick. Or is that still being worked on? I can't tell. It looks done. There's no way that's done, right? Must be. I guess the builders have nothing to do, so... So, um... That's actually probably why we have a little bit of a stockpile, is because we're not actually building anything. Reserve of firewood. How much firewood did you bring here? 400 firewood. Let's just try to build up to uh, 625. That way we can trade for whatever seeds come, which is firewood. Here, sir, we, pre we present you with some seeds. <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> Take all this wood <laughs> that we've chopped up. <laughs> We're so productive. That's all we know how to do is chop firewood. Getting that extra miner definitely gave us enough coal to keep steel production going. Steel tool production. Let's bump up tool limit to say 200. I want to keep them working. Alright, so what other high traffic paths should we consider upgrading? I don't like how they're kind of like going all over the place through the center. That means that the, the routes aren't very effective. This one's still pretty busy. I mean, it is a main road. Ah, eh, why not? Worst case scenario, we just... Look at, look at him go! They are working on it that quick. 
Do, do, do. Go pick up more stone. You should have had more stone to, in the first place. A dead body. Really low on food again. Well, I guess, with all this stone, it's time to upgrade to stone houses. That's the other thing we could start doing. Let's try one. Structures being upgraded, 38% of storage remaining. <coughs> Pardon me. So apparently they have to empty the house before it can be renovated. Being demolished? Those poor people. Okay, so they just recouped the uh, materials. And then all the materials are considered needing to be removed and then they have to bring them back? That's kind of silly. Hmm. Still low on logs. But we're about to have our very first stone house. They should be able to build a wooden house, a stone house, and an iron house. And they immediately live here again. It's pretty. Pretty damn ugly. No, just kidding. It's not true. Okay, so we got all of our firewood here. That's nice. Now that we're not consuming it, hopefully we'll be able to stockpile up and have some for the upcoming winter. Next year. And the laborers certainly seem to be getting things done quick, so... Um, slash and burn. All of it. Just, re just remove that stuff. Bring resources. Go, my army. Does that boarding house ever get any use? Of course not. So I'm thinking maybe we should build another market like up here and then just just duplicate this whole thing, you know? Just get more stuff, more people. Population's on the up. Kind of not much, though. I think we need more houses. All right, well, I'm going to take a break here. In the next video, we'll, we'll continue upgrading from wooden houses to stone houses. We'll start getting more stone roads everywhere. In fact, um, before I forget, let's designate some stone roads here. They definitely seem to like going this way, so... That seems fine. There goes all of our stone. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.